Hello everyone, I'm Kenzie, and this is Tomb Raider 1. Today, we're going into the Great Pyramid, the final level of Tomb Raider 1, at least until the DLC came out like two years later. Anyway, we're fighting the torso. I looked it up by the way, it's, um, oh shit. Oh, no, wrong way. Oh boy. I looked it up. It's about 800 ammo to uh, fight this guy. Not 1400. 1400 might be a speedrun number that I'm thinking of. Anyway, we don't want to get too close to this guy because he can grab us and murder us. I'm really concentrating right now. This is kind of the best way to do that. Oh, there we go. We got him. That's the best way to do that is uh, just to... We need to back up. He's going to blow up. Is to kind of... I kind of just side flip around him and make him chase me. And then he, you know... There you go. That's it. That is the boss I've been waiting for this whole time. And yeah, that did take right about right about 800 ammo or so. So now we're going to stick with the Uzis for the rest of the game. Because <laughs> Lord knows I have plenty of ammo for them. There's a couple of pickups in the corners of this platform. There we go. Gonna pick all of these up. Ta da! How much ammo do we have now? 2,700, almost 2,800. So, remember in the last level, I was talking about how there was a door here and you could take the tunnel to get back upstairs? That tunnel's gone now. Which sucks because that's where we gotta go. So how do we get up there? We get up there through this door that wasn't open. And it is now open. I think this is a slippy slope. Um, that is not a slippy slope. But I don't remember where to go. Um... Right. Okay. So this is a this is a push block, and we can't do anything with it on this side. So we have to go down here. There's chompers somewhere. Where are they? I don't know. We gotta push this guy forward because it's the only way we can push him. Still, still pushing away, I see. Alright. And that opens this tunnel. That's a word. Tunnel. And we end up on this side of the push block. And we can push it. And that puts it where it needs to be for us to go up here. Yeah, there they are. Can I... Yeah, that was clean and smooth. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we gotta figure out <laughs> where am I gonna save this? Um We'll do it over this Atlantis 124. Because this Atlantis 102 is the beginning of the level. Okay. This might I can't. Nope, nope, nope. I think there's... Where does that go? I think that might just go to where one of the other push blocks was. I think I might have just made this way much harder for myself. Ouch! It might be better to just run through there and not let that fall. There we go. 
So now what? There's... Alright. Let's go down first. So, we're in a room. There's a push block. Oh, I remember. We need to push the push block over because right there is a lever. But we can't push the push block from this side because we need at least two spaces to be able to move it. So we have to take the tunnel, push it, and then come back and pull it where it needs to be. I remember. I remember, as my daughter used to say. But I already told that. At least I think I told it. Oh boy, I hope that wasn't in the recording I lost. Yeah, Roxy used to say remember. Instead of remember, she used to say remember. It was cute. Speaking of kids, my daughter has been really enjoying that I have a Let's Play now. She's like, Mom, you're like a real YouTuber. And I'm like, no, honey. I'm just doing this for fun. I'm most definitely not a real YouTuber. Anyway, we cannot get through this crack, so we have to go back through the tunnel. So, fun fact about that block that we were pushing and pulling around. Um, apparently, due to the limitations of the game, um... The, the side that we don't see, which is the side right here behind this door that's like underneath me right here. Um, that side doesn't have a texture because there's technically no way we're supposed to be able to see it. But then if you corner bug, like do that corner flip bug that I was doing before that glitched the game. If you do that to get over to the other side, you can actually look at the texture. Which isn't there. It just looks like a clear block. But it still has... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It still has heft. That's not it. Like, you can't, just because the texture's not there doesn't mean you can't go through the block. The block still exists. It's just clear. Oh, butt smear! I cannot believe I did that! I'll meet you back. I'm back. I'm gonna save this time. Save. I'm, I, this is the last level. So I'm really glad I got to fuck up one more time really well for you guys. Okay, so now we're in here and this is a room where most of it is slippy slopes. I think we can stand over there and then we can stand on these flattish parts. But then, um, that bridge will raise when we stand on one of these spots, and I can't remember what it is, and then that's a secret. So let's see what we can find. Is it this one? No. I bet it's the farthest one. The farthest. Furthest. Um. Oh boy, I don't know if that popped up for you guys, but it sure popped up for me. It was a notification about World Password Day. Yep, now you gotta remember these lava bubbles hurt you. But um There it is. Oh no! Oh no. Yeah. Well, I know which one it is, so we're just gonna just load this super fast. And try again. Oh no, I did it again! Thank you. You guys, I'm just gonna leave all this in because I re I just saved right here, so it's fine. One of these days I will get this secret running jump. Standing jump. Go faster because this is timed, I think. I can't recall. Secret! 
And then this lever will keep the bridge up. So we don't die. Oh. It lied to me. Actually, probably not. It's probably still timed. Oh, shit! Okay, I'll meet you back in that doorway after I get the secret. Okay, I'm back here. And I got the secret. And now, we're gonna jump over here. I just died many times, by the way. I am apparently not good at the jumpy jumpy. Go over here. Where we want to go is up there. Oh, took a little damage from that bubble. Oh, and there's a little bit more. And then, if I remember correctly, up here... Can I look at it without it triggering? Yeah, there's a boulder. So, let's do it like this. Go like this. There we go. One. And then immediately up here, there's another one. There it is. So, second verse, it's the same as the first. There it is. Oh no! Are you for real? Shit! Okay, fucker. Wanna try that again? Yeah, that's what I thought. Prick. What's that noise? Are we getting close to the Skion room? Where is it? It's through here. That's a long drop. And I'm really glad I caught the edge. That could have really hurt. See, look, it hurt anyway. Now we're back in the Skion room. And, uh... You know, it's like, oh, we can just go grab it, right? Nope. Lara wants nothing to do with the Skion anymore. So what do we do? I'll tell you what not to do. Jump down there. In fact, if we come over here and look, I didn't show this earlier, but we are still at the top of the tall room. The uh, doors, I mean, the uh, platforms are all still there in the tall room, but if you were to make it down to those platforms for some reason and live, which I don't think you can actually, but if you were to make it down there and live, um, there's doors blocking all the paths, so we can't like just back out the way we came in. We have to go this way. But if we can't grab the ski on and we can't go back out the way we came in, then what the hell are we supposed to do? That. Blow it up. And then we can leave. Now. Oh boy, I forgot you were here. And there's one on the other side of me too. Oh my god. Holy butts. I forgot these guys were over here. How did I not die? How did I not die? How did I not die right there? That's why I saved these. That's why I saved these. I forgot all these boys were in here. This one's still technically in here. Okay. Um, I was gonna show off and say, Hey, look. Like, this room is all fucked up now. Whatever shall we do? You know. Like, there's, there's rocks falling in. There's actually places where we can stand on the lava down there. But I'm gonna go this way and show you what's going on. Because you might think, oh, we'll just go back the way we came in. Wrong! It's all blocked off. 
okay, something I hate about this level is we have perpetual shaky cam for the entire rest of the time now. And I fucking hate it. It makes me a little bit seasick. Anyways, what we're supposed to do is come over here. Because if we look down, there's a hole in the lava now. But um And over here. But um, I'll look around a little bit and I'll show you where we're supposed to go. There's a bunch of arrows and there's lava bubbles and there's the door we're supposed to go through. Fuck, I hate this so bad. Stop fucking shaking. And then we're supposed to just shimmy over. And I always take damage here because I never get this timing right ever. I just get stabbed over and over and over again by flying arrows. Which, I mean, if there's a way through here without taking damage, I'm not sure that I know it. So immediately under us is a slippy slope, so we have to go like this. Bang. Oh, except I'm getting shot! No, I'm gonna wait. I should have saved, though. So now we're in a room, um, I don't remember if this is a slidey slope or not, check it for pickups, but there is some, you know, there is a, I, I don't remember, is this, can I stand on this? I sure can, okay. So there's some spikes, there's a, uh, oh Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Well, not only did that hurt me. There was a boulder that fell down from up there that I fucking forgot about. Holy shit, what is my life right now? Well, remember when I was going to do this? And then I did this? Again, this is literally why I saved all this. So I think we need to running jump over those spikes into that safe spot. Uh, okay. And then we can walk through these spikes. You gotta aim towards the middle so you don't get hit by bubbles, which sometimes you do anyway. Okay. Um. I don't remember, I don't remember this jump. Okay, so we can't make this jump because you have to jump and grab from here and then that'll just fall down and you'll land on the spike so we have to jump from don't run in there you'll die we have to jump from here I think it's just standing jump standing jump I'm gonna do it perfect oh my god that was amazing Okay, now, okay, I remember this now. Over there where those two med packs and those Uzi clips are, that's a secret. The proper way, oops, down this room is to jump on these slippy slopes and then grab that grabby thing, but then we don't get the secret. So what we gotta do is we gotta come over here. And now, do you remember in, in, the Lost Valley when I didn't think we could grab the texture and then we did. That's what we can do here. Oh, except not like that. We can't. Uh, I'm so tired of loading already. <sighs> At least I just saved right here. Stop that. God, I fucking hate that shaky thing. Anyway, we can grab this here. Just like in Lost Valley when the textures touch and you didn't think you could grab and then you can grab. But we gotta ride this all the way down. It takes a while. I had to go to Duluth yesterday and bring uh, Holden to the dentist. It was his turn to go to the dentist. And um, after we were done at the dentist we went and got some... Well actually we got Burger King before the dentist. Secret! 
But then we went to Petco after the dentist and we picked up some of those uh, Marimo moss balls to put in our fish tank. I, I, I didn't want a, a huge big one because I was afraid my goldfish would eat it. So I got four little tiny ones that came in a pack all together and they're super cute and I'm super glad to have them in my fish tank. Anyway, so now we're up here and that's not the thing, that's not the way to get down. And in fact, I just would like to thank the PC for allowing me to, I think we need to backflip, for allowing me to save anywhere I want to. Oops! Jump too late! At least now I don't have to do that shimmy bullshit again. Watch this. Oh, I can just do it again. Oh, we can stand on this one. Okay. We can actually make that jump from where we were standing to this ledge right here. But, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it. Bop. Okay. Here's some bullshit! So see where that boulder is? We have to not go over there. We have There's a tunnel into that tunnel where that right boulder is through that blade. And there's also some fall away tiles just straight into lava. And there's also a boulder. So it's like, whatever shall we do? We come over to this wall. And we kind of angle this way as best we can. And we make a run for it. And... Either I'm going to get hit or I'm not. Sometimes I can make that really well and sometimes I can't. Yeah, so we can just make this jump. Watch us. Boop. Done. Ow. Ow. I did it! Um, I don't remember where this boulder chases me to, but we're gonna find out right now! Did you see that fucking decoy med pack? Fuck you, man. This is a slippy slope. Oh, you fucking bitch! <sighs> there we go. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, folks. I have no idea what I'm cutting or leaving in at this point. Because there's just a lot going on. Um, there's another decoy med pack in the middle of the floor here. But I'm not gonna bother stopping for it because this lava rushes in to try to kill us. What's on this side of the door? I don't know. Um, I mean, there's a pickup. Is there maybe something up here? No, it's just ceiling. Okay, let's go this way then. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Ow. I'm at the end of the tunnel where I just picked up those Uzi clips. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember how to do this. Yeah, okay. 
I'm pretty sure it's like a forward jump and then a immediately a backflip. Nope. Do I just need to stop after the boulder rolls over me so I don't trigger the other one? Because I need to go up here? Actually, that might be it. It isn't. Can I just... If I go all the way over here, can I... Actually, you know what? I think this is just a standing jump so I can grab. And if I'm all the way over here, I don't think it pinches her fingers. Yeah! I did it! Look at me, Ma! Actually, don't look at me, Ma. So, here we are in another room full of fire. I don't think there's anything for us in the water. And actually, I think this fire puzzle is easier than the other one. Or if I could just do that. Nope, I'm loading. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry if I'm not like why isn't the fire on? Why didn't the fire load in? Anyway, sorry if I'm being a little quiet. I'm like ultra concentrating right now. I mean if the fire wants to be off, then it can be off. So you can be close to the fire and it won't catch you on fire. We're just gonna take it easy and jump on the sides here. Okay, I don't know why the fire didn't load in there, but I mean, I'll take it. It's fine. We jumped through. Okay, so I'm gonna save right here at the top of the slope because this is a slippy slope here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Um, where we're supposed to go is in that one by one hole of water. But over there is the final secret of the game. And I gotta be honest, I don't remember the sequence of jumps here. I think it's a, it's something like this where you, you walk to the, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try this again. I, I'm going to speak properly while I do this. I think it's a hop back and then a step back because you need to have enough room to do another running jump on this side. I did it first try? That's fucking dope. I cannot believe I just did that. That was amazing. I love this secret. And by the way, in the game without the braid mod, that secret chime there doesn't chime. The secret counts, but the chime doesn't chime. This braid mod also includes a chime fix for this secret. So then we come here, and we can do this. Boom! Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's so good. And now, I'm going to be a little bit quiet. Because up here... This is the final room of the game. And I think a certain someone has a certain something to say to us through here. There she is up there. Did you see her? Did you see her flying around? Natla. You don't actually have to fight her, you can just fucking leave. Like, for real, you can just, like, walk on out of here and it's fine. Stop hitting me. Hmm. 
Is she dead? Matla. Are you dead? You can't bump off me and my roots so easy, Lara. Okay. Now she's dead. And that's the end of Natla. Which I didn't mention before, I really not like the name Jacqueline. Or Jacqueline, depending on which version of the Larson you're speaking to. Anyway, so now we're in this room. And it's tall. And we need to get up there to get to the end of the level. How do we get up there? Through some jumping puzzle bullshit! My favorite. There it is. So we go up here in this tunnel. The thing about this level is it's not actually very long. What takes long is the fucking puzzles because it's just, first of all, you got a shaky cam so you can't see anything. Then you're dealing with you know, blades that slice you and kill you pretty much in one hit. And then you're dealing with... This way. Then you're dealing with boulders that smush you and floors that fall away and tons of lava. So it's like, my recording time right now is only 44 minutes. And that, you know, including all, like, the deaths and shit that I edited out. I have... I... And I gotta be honest, I'm not sure what I'm keeping in at this point. This... This level has been a fucking nightmare. But... She's... This level is a nightmare because you have to, like, fight through all these puzzles and you have to avoid the lava and a lot of the shit is like, all right, you're gonna save at the top of the slope and see how many times it takes you before you get it right. Then you save at the bottom of the slope and go to the next puzzle. And this happens a lot in this level. But it's like, once you know it, at least relatively a little bit, then it becomes a lot easier. Oh boy, we're getting into like some height bullshit. Oh boy. So, jump over here. Oh no! I accidentally let go of grab. Son of a bitch! Okie dokie, I'm back. At least I think this is where I died, I don't remember. This is where I'm gonna start talking again. So, as I was saying, my recording time isn't actually terribly long because I... Oh boy, I thought I missed that again. I know all the puzzles. The problem is just doing them right. Like, I did the thing the first try, so... Or the... Yeah, the last secret. I did the last secret the first try, so that worked out really well for me, but it's like the last time I played this game, it took me probably 20 minutes just to get the last secret because I kept missing the jumps and dying. You know? So that's what this level is, is a lot of the play value is like that high risk thing of like, well, I just gotta do this and see if I get it right. So we keep climbing, and we just keep climbing. And we just keep climbing. Yeah, like I said, relatively short level, you know, I think it's in, I think the speed run for this level is, is incredibly short, and then the glitched speed run for this level is even shorter because you can just use the corner bug to, oh fuck, I thought I was gonna fall for a second, no I bumped the mic, but yeah. Glitch speedruns will just use the corner bug to jump to the top of that pillar right there. And then we jump here, and then we jump here. And we come through here. And we go down here. And that's it. This is the end of the game right here. Slide down the slope into darkness. 
And that's all she wrote for Lara Croft. Oh. Great Pyramid. Kill six. Pick pickups 22. Secrets three of three. Time taken 2351. That's one of the shortest times I think I have for final times. I can't remember all my final times. I know Caves was pretty short, but that one is just really short for me anyway, so. Good water. So Atlantis is blown up. Lara gets into the boat. Drives away. Wow, I mean, that really fucking exploded. And there goes Lara into the horizon. Successful in saving the world yet again. Yet again. For the first time. I mean, depending which version you're playing. I mean... This is the first time she saved the world in release order of games. But then we find out in Tomb Raider 5. Yeah, I think it is Tomb Raider Chronicles. Where we find out she had been dealing with Larson and Pierre before and they were kind of inept idiots. Anyway, where do we... There's That's not in the game. And that's it, folks. We are officially done. With Tomb Raider 1. One of my favorite games of all time. Let's load up a new game real quick. We're gonna skip that. But if we come in... We have guns, right? But how much ammo do we have for these guns? You wanna know? Unlimited! Oh yes. Oh yes. It's so good. Too bad there's not hardly anything to kill in these early levels where we can use these amazing guns. But anyway, this is fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and we can exit. I wanna end the game on the title screen. Anyway, here we are. This is it. I have successfully recorded my first full let's play. I didn't stream it, I didn't record the stream, I sat down and powered through this and I am really proud of myself. Let the demo run while I chit chat here. Do you remember when we did this? That feels like so long ago already. So, anyway, I'm Kenzie. This is Tomb Raider 1 and I hope you folks have a wonderful day.